fait, mesdames et messieurs. Vous le savez. Non mais c'est pas l'équipe, enfin... Je pensais que vous n'y faisiez pas de nuit. Si si, ah. non c'est pas pour la web, c'est l'image officielle. D'accord. Tu bien Ouais. Nickel. Bien. Ouais, nickel.
Wait, wait, wait. I feel terrible. <laughs> I felt terrible for a while. Uh, yeah, I had a really hard spot in the, the balcony trail um, from Bertone to Benati when Zach made a really big push. Um, just kind of had to wait it out and see if things turned around. And uh, yeah, unfortunately, I think Charmond kind of sparked something when he caught me in. Uh, Champagne. Uh, the key's been, uh, I mean, I was thinking about it all night. I could feel I was pretty strong on the hikes, um, comparatively. And uh, it's the Beauforton. Uh, we got steep hills, steep mountains, 
and uh, really good hiking, so I think that's where the focus of training's been. So it's just, I knew if I was close with the last three climbs, um, I could probably take time back if my stomach settled down. No, it just feels like I'm adding, uh, I get to join the strong U.S. women contingent, and uh, yeah, I mean, you, you can't take it away from them. They've done it again and again here, and uh, just happy to, like, stand on their shoulders. Uh, this training block, I basically didn't worry about miles. I basically just tried to run a ton of vert. And pretty much all my training was just steep up and steep down. Uh, I tried to keep it as steep as the UTMB course or steeper. A lot of it was steeper, I think. So, yeah, I, I didn't really worry about running that fast. I just ran a ton of vert. So for Terrawear, it was in February. So through the winter, I did a lot of like, uh, a lot of really runnable trails and like roads and bike paths in Bend, Oregon, um, because Terrawear was gonna be really runnable. And then after Terrawear, I prepped for world championships. And that was like uh, 55 miles with like 22,000 feet of vert. So I did more vert for that. And then after Worlds, I just did even more of it to get ready for UTMB. So I just kind of like progressed it from runnable to more vert to a, a lot of vert. <laughs> Jim got away from me going down the pyramids. Um, and then uh, I, it was actually kind of nice because uh, Jim and Tom and I were all running together, but these guys are very tall. <laughs> It's really hard for me to hike with them because I'm like five foot six. <laughs> My legs aren't very long. So uh, once, once Tom fell back and Jim went ahead, I was actually like, it was actually really nice because then I could just do my own rhythm. Um, and I was just kind of doing my own thing. And then I caught up with Jim and then I just like kind of naturally took the lead. And I was like, well, if it feels good, I'm just going to do it. So that's what I did. Yeah, that probably looks a little sketchy. Uh, they're just electrolyte, electrolytes. Uh, I take a lot more electrolytes now than I ever used to. And it seems to make a huge difference uh, in being able to run downhill and just being able to run in general. Um, yeah, it's, yeah, my, my girlfriend's a dietitian, so uh, she kind of helped me realize that a lot of stuff I was taking didn't have that much sodium. So we upped the sodium. Um, I took a lot of electrolyte pills today. <laughs> uh, so yeah, and it, it just seems to do wonders. I wish I would have figured that out sooner in my career. <laughs> parti comme un mytho et, et ça a tenu quoi <rire> voilà non je sais pas ouais euh, me, en fait je voulais être un peu plus en arrière dans la course mais au final les, le fait de course fait que je me suis vite retrouvé troisième en fait depuis Courmayeur je, je crois que je suis troisième en fait donc euh, c'est vrai que ouais c'était un petit peu un petit peu dur de courir sans, sans vraiment sans mouvement de course à partir de Courmayeur mais, euh, mais j'essayais de revenir et, 
Et je suis content parce que j'ai pris un... J'ai pris un coup de boomerang, mais, euh, mais ça va, j'ai réussi à limiter la casse. Bah, je pense qu'il y avait François, François Daen, tout dans la baie. <rire> Entre la folie et, et le pied de champé, il mettait la pression euh, pour que je rentre sur le team. Du coup, euh, coup j'ai fait cet effort-là. Et quand j'ai vu Jim euh, partir euh, le long du lac de Champé, je me suis dit... Euh, Ok, euh, alors soit il a changé de chaussures, euh, elles sont vraiment bien, soit c'est vraiment sa spécialité, le plat. Je me suis dit, bon, bah, essaye de, de lisser, mais, euh, mais bon, non, en fait, euh, j'ai vite compris qu'il ne fallait pas trop que je m'amuse à le suivre, parce que sinon, je m'arrêtais à trier en chance. The entire second half of the race was really, really hard. My body was not wanting to run anymore and my stomach was a little finicky. So I almost lost my lunch on the streets of Champé Lac. Uh, luckily held it together and was able to will myself to this finish line. But I honestly am not sure I would have made it back here without Kevin, my husband, and my, some of my family here, Kruy, 